Hello, this is John Porterfield of Eco Cars with another video tour of a Citroen C0. We've just come in today here on Orkney and uh, it's a good time to shoot a video while it's not too windy. So, like all the other C0s, Peugeot Ions, Mitsubishi iMeves, there's identical cars except one is Peugeot, one is Citroen, and one is Mitsubishi. All built by Mitsubishi. Great cars. The Two rear seats drop in a 50-50 split and then turn into, well actually I'll show you, they turn into an enormous boot area. There really are. There's more room in this than there is in a, a Nissan Leaf with, it, with the back seats drop down. How about that for space? Absolutely huge. Brilliant. Um, there is the normal three pin plug cable that charges the car at 10 amps. So that is here. That comes with most electric vehicles. Uh, rear wash wipe, brake light, and the seats just simply pop back up to that position and you just pull the lever and they drop back in and lock. I'll do the other one when it goes to the other side. So two rear seat belts, um, proper Citroen mats in all four footwells, electric windows all round. Pull the lever back, and back it pops. We've got Isofix in all the window, uh, in all the doors, uh, in all the seats as well. Very good condition. All the door cards are nice and clean. Passenger door card. Need to give the mats a really good vacuum, but they will clean up fine. Uh, no rips or tears to any of the seats. There's some small marks to the base of the driver's seat, but nothing to worry about. And uh, all the documents are here, which I'll show you in a moment. Dents to the roof. Really are smart little EVs. I love these. Great for uh, town work. Um, that's just to have left the keys in. Four electric windows, and they can isolate the rear windows. Remote central locking on the key. On oh, the great thing about these, the doors. little city car. So remote central locking. Let's get out the wind. So to start a Peugeot, a, a Citroen C0, we put the key in the normal ignition, ignition slot, which you can't see whilst I'm filming. There we go. Foot on the brake, turn, twist and hold till it does a double beep and that's it. The car is actually running. Various menus in the middle of the car, obviously you've got your speed in the middle. Got a gauge here that tells you whether you're driving economically and when you come off the accelerator it goes into the charge zone. So through regen braking you can actually increase your range. Battery range is indicated on a sort of fuel gauge type circle on the left and on the right we have a scrolling menu. Now I like to leave this on the distance left which at the moment is 30 miles. So if I scroll round, there's the actual total miles covered, 21,827. Then you have trip A, trip B, intensity lights of the dashboard that you can adjust, distance till next service, and just keep scrolling around. That's right, I think that's three months actually. But uh, I'll discuss the service intervals. Uh, when you call, power assisted steering, we have uh, front and rear wipers and obviously the lights which are also auto as well which is very useful. So we have a normal heating arrangement here with aircon, temperature and Bluetooth phone as you can just probably hear. So we've got a radio here, I've paired my phone with the radio so that works fine. Airbags front passenger side, driver side we have airbags in the B pillar, um, so lots and lots of airbags also in the sides of the front seats. So looking at the documents we have the owner's handbook is here in the original Citroen wallet. We also have the official Citroen service book showing one stamp at 18,000 miles on the 24th of the 10th 14. 
So, as with all electric cars, there's not an awful lot to service, to be honest. It's a, it's a check of the tyres and the brakes, um, and a pollen filter, and that's it. So, it has been checked over by Citroen main dealer. We have the V5 here, and also a non-remote spare key, which is what all the Citroen C0s come with, with the key tag for the serial number. The first owner was just Citroen contract motoring, no previous keepers. Data registration there is the 14th of November 2012. It's not yet three years old, but this will have its first MOT on the 14th of November this year. Um, but if it gets sold before that, I'll still pay for its first MOT. So the V5 is here, will be MOT'd when it's due. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the document. So before I do a walk around of the car, let me uh, first of all take you for a test drive. So welcome to the test drive. Foot on the brake, turn the key and hold, two rings, take the gear stick from P down to D for drive, foot off the brake, screw the throttle. Uh, just like a normal automatic, you come to a stop, select R for reverse. Which also pops up on the dash as well as the actual knob at the bottom where the gear stick usually is. So just go over this rough piece of ground and we'll just head out onto the main road. No warning lights on the dash, everything works as it should. And in fact they're selling lots and lots of Leaf and Citroens and Mitsubishis and Peugeots, they all tend to sound the same. So of course, oh, that's just me just squeaking on the brakes, but no one doing noises at all. It really is just like all the other EVs that we've bought and sold. That's what we specialise in. So, you might be able to see the needle on the dashboard. So when it's pointed at roughly 12 o'clock, there's a little mark in the, in the vertical. That just indicates that's sort of the optimum range power economy zone. And when you're going down a hill if you come off the accelerator that needle goes into the blue charge zone which means the motor is turning into a dynamo and pushing amps back into the battery thus increasing your range. Great little cars, drives nice and straight, no one doing noises. Uh, the batteries are still under warranty with Citroen and Mitsubishi, of course, we make these for five years or 60,000 miles. But these cars have been out since 2008, as they were first launched in Japan. Now, if there was any downside to these batteries, if they fail at a certain age or a certain mileage, it would be all over the internet, and it just isn't. So, great little EVs, electric vehicles, these. Um, now been on the road for, where are we, 2015, seven years. So if there was anything that would crop up that would show a failure on these, it would have happened after seven years, but it hasn't. These are absolutely great. And up here on Orkney they're ideal as well. So there's the Bluetooth working again. <laughs> so I'm off the accelerator. Let the car naturally slow, a little bit of brake, and turn it round. There's a good thing about these, it's got a great turning circle. Such a nice little car. They really are great. And away we go. Um, so what was it saying? Yes, the cars are very reliable, and up here on Orkney they're ideal. This also has a rapid charge connection. So you can charge it at home from a three pin plug from a dedicated wall charger which up here in Scotland is still free, 100% funding for around about a thousand pounds worth of uh, electric car charger. And that will charge this car at 16 amps which is 60% faster than 10 amps from a three pin plug. Um, and then it has the rapid charge connection, the CHAdeMO connection which uh, We'll charge this in around 18 minutes to 80%. So 
lots of these rapid chargers up and down the country and if you've been following me on social media you realise that I recently drove from John O'Groats to Land's End and back to John O'Groats using rapid chargers uh, in, in Nissan Leaf and you could do it in this actually because the uh, on average the distance between the charges is around 30 miles this has a range comfortably around 60 to 65 miles but driven really carefully I've had owners saying they get 90 miles but I'm not going to say you get 90 miles because if you just drive it normally 65 60 is comfortable so um, if you don't do big mileages every day these are ideal they really are so pull over. It's come to a stop. There we are. It's actually stopped. We're still running. We'll just squeeze the throttle. So thanks for watching and I'll just take you now finally for a walk around this car. So welcome back from the test drive. So I uh, hope you can hear me over the wind. I will walk around the car and tell you any imperfections I can find. Starting in the front corner there's a tiny stone chip to the front bonnet, being really picky. Lots of tread on the tyres. The is there's no scuffs at all. The discs are fine as well. Ring mirrors are fine. No dents down the side. The rear tyre, oh good, four millimetres left on there. And again, no scuffs to the alloy. The rear corners are fine on the car on those. The rear tyre again like the other one, four or five millimetres. No scuffs to the alloy. The sides are very clean. There's no dents or marks. Just needs a good polish which I'll do in the next few days. Front tyre again like the other front tyre, perhaps three millimetres. And front alloy is perfect. So what a clinical example. Great to run. Zero road tax and up here on Orkney ready to go. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me, Jonathan, here at Eco Cars, anytime. Thank you.